Hey everybody, I'm on the road visiting fam, so I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. Been running around, traveling every day. I've been used to drawing on the bigger paper. Today, I'm back to eight and a half by 11, smaller drawings. I can cover a lot more ground on the paper with the size of the pens I've got and whatnot. Get them done a lot quicker. Anyways, this is a tan paper today. It's been a very gray, rainy travel so far. Not really much sunshine at all. And today has been very gray, very, <laughs> drab and so I'm drawing in this tan paper with black and white I'm gonna be doing a flip perspective of one of the drawings I did before the wharf on the left side of that drawing is the western edge of the suspension bridge which is an iconic bridge in this area they've had it closed to vehicular traffic for a while now it's been pedestrian traffic only which has been fun to go and walk across it and just chill on it draw on it and whatnot this perspective is as if you're standing on the bridge looking back at West V at the wharf, the waterfront, the whole downtown Wheeling area. Several super old buildings, Jamboree Music Hall, Capitol Music Building, Wheeling Marsh Stogie sign, the old hotel right by the bridge, which is currently blown out, windows shattered, nobody in there. Several other old OG tall buildings of downtown, apartments and whatnot. And I'm gonna condense this whole area so you've got kind of a span in this image. Highly stylized. I sat with my nieces and drew with them. They were drawing pictures as I was drawing, taking notes, giving little tips and tricks as I draw, and seeing the one of the magic of drawing in their eyes. The city is very old, the bridge is very old, reflecting some of the rustic qualities of downtown Wheeling. A lot of brickwork, a lot of old steel. In this image, I only left a sliver of what would be the river in here. I condensed the whole riverfront area down here, the pavilion, there's two zones of pavilion, a lot of stuff to skate down in there, a lot of trees and whatnot. This is a whole riverfront area, even though there isn't much of the actual river itself visible. The Civic Center all the way in the back on the far right in the distance. This is where the Wheeling Nailers play hockey. This is also where I graduated from high school. And then we've got several rolling hills headed south into the distance. Staple of West V. I'm gonna show this Jamboree USA logo so you guys see what it actually looks like. But it's gonna be stylized in the image and my nieces said it looks like a mustache. And then we had a whole giggle fest over the word mustache and mustache this and mustaches on everything. As we go in the distance, everything's gonna lose detail. All of these windows are gonna become smaller and simpler. You know, I'm traveling, I'm keeping my setup to a minimum. I don't have any of my thick white brushes, so I'm not really gonna do anything in the sky. I'm just gonna leave it the color of this tan, which, is accurate because of how just gray and drab the weather is today. And since it's gonna stay blank, I want the bottom half to be relatively filled out just to give it a good contrast, a good balance. I actually like how it turned out a lot. Always fun sprinkling the hometown drawings amongst the Chicago and other major city architecture. Sign it up in the top right in the blank area and that's a wrap, I'ma lay it out here. Thanks for watching. I may or may not still be on the road next week. We'll see where I'm at. Hometown postcard to myself. Back in West V. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next week. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>